presenting and teaching your classmates on the endocrine disorders. Each one of you will be, be, each group will be presenting an endocrine disorder concept map with the information, whether that be a skit or however interactively and interestingly you have chosen to teach your fellow students. So um, I guess we're ready to get started with that. Okay, the first group. Can you tell us how you plan to, will it be a skit for uh, Yes, ma'am. We are going to do a skit uh, while I write. While you, while you write. Or okay. our writer is uh, writing. Okay. <coughs> All right. Well, let's get started. Oh, she's new, so I'm going to speak for her. Okay. Her right. name is Regina Booth. Okay. Was born January 1st, 1975. 75. Okay, perfect. Let me just check it right here. Okay. <laughs> that matches up. Perfect. Okay. And you're her daughter, you said? Yes. So what's the problem? So she has been very confused lately, been in a lot of pain. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Um, well, I know they already came in and did their assessment here, but I guess in fact I'm going to ask a couple of specific questions. Okay. Okay. Um, now, is she having pain like just in your side? Are you having any bone pain at all? You are? Just does it hurt all over? Have you noticed any sort of like shoulder or tremors or anything like that? Um, she has been having that lately, yes. Okay. Um, do you know when her last bowel movement was? Um, I believe it was about a week ago. About a week ago? Yes. Okay. All right. Now, let me see here. Okay. All right. Has she, how's her weight been? Has it stayed the same? Has she She's been anything? losing weight losing? steadily, yes. Okay. And any nausea or vomiting? Is seeing everything staying down when she eats? No, it does not. It's not. It's all coming back up. Okay. All right. Um, do you know uh, how frequently she's been urinating? Um, quite often. Often? Okay. Um, oh. Not quite often. Not quite often. <laughs> <laughs> well, Miss Booth, are you having any pain on urination by chance? Mm. You aren't, or you are? Mm. You are? Mm. Okay, thank you. And, uh, Ms. Booth, I'm just going to ask you a couple questions. Uh, this may kind of a little hard. Uh, can you nod yes for me mm -hmm. if the year is 2024? Mm -hmm. Okay. And, uh, and where are you at the hospital right now? Mm. You're not? Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Is she? Is she no, seen? we are at the hospital, Mom. Mm. Yeah. Has she seemed confused at all around the house? Yes, very confused. Very confused? Yeah. Okay. Let me get this out and I'll run all this to the doctor real quick. Um, I just want to ask these questions before we did. He also wanted us to run some labs and get an x-ray done. Mm -hmm. uh, he said he wants us to get a blood test, a urinalysis, and an abdominal x-ray. I'm going to step out. Uh, they're going to get all that done. Doctor's going to review the results and we'll get back to you, okay? Okay, thank I'll you. I'll be back shortly once they've gotten that taken care of. Thank you. Doctor is gonna come. The doctor is gonna come, Mom. Okay, okay, Mom. It's okay. I'm nervous. Staying really irritable. <laughs> I wonder where that doctor is. <laughs> Hello, Miss Booth. Hi, I'm Dr. Byers. So we've got your lab results back. We've been looking at everything. Uh, you got a couple problems we're going to need to go over. We took you an x-ray, and I think I know what that pain in your side is. It looks like you've got a pretty bad kidney stone. Mm. So that's a problem right there. Uh, we also checked, and uh, we're looking at what the problem is, and it looks like you've got elevated levels of PTH, which is your parathyroid hormone. Okay. And you've got elevated calcium and decreased phosphorus. Now the problem with that 
is uh, we checked your serum creatinine is over 5.8. That means you're suffering acute hemophilia right now. Uh, we think what causes that, uh, you said you work nights, right? She does. Yes. She does, okay. So we think what causes that, it's gonna be a lack of vitamin D. That lack of vitamin D in your body, over time, it's gonna make your body struggle to produce the calcium. Your kidney's gonna try to overcompensate. The problem is whenever you're not getting enough calcium, your parathyroid goes into overdrive. It tries to make more parathyroid hormone, and then your calcium level is going to spike. You don't have enough vitamin D. Since your calcium's getting so high, you've got hypercalcemia. That's where a lot of this uh, spastic behavior, the tremors and muscle spasms, a lot of that pain is coming from, okay? So uh, we looked at it. Uh, I'm gonna prescribe you medication called Sinicalcid. What it's gonna do is it's going to uh, help bring down your calcium levels. Uh, it's also going to try and help regulate your vitamin D levels because if we can get this kidney disease uh, in check, since we can reverse acute kidney failure, uh, if we can get this in check, then it should fix your parathyroid hormone problems as well, and we should be able to get you stabilized. It's gonna be a process for an actual people to put it to work with as well. We should get everything taken care of, okay? And so even the confusion. The confusion will resolve as well. Okay. Her hypercalcemia is what's likely causing that. Okay. So we need that mom? Okay. All right, do you guys have any more questions for me? No, we do not. Okay, so that is perfect. It says, I got a party to go to. Y'all have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>